Let's deal with Independence, Missouri, and their foolish decision to remove a pit bull ban. What they should have done is added to the existing pit bull ban and banned all other bully breeds. And I want to touch on how disgusting it is and embarrassing, shameful it is for the ruling class in independence in any other area of the country of the world that has removed pit bull bans or has never banned them. Anyone, anywhere, that allow these things into society. Independence is over. Thanks, Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Brad Stevens. Carolyn has the night off. The city council voted to get rid of it after it's been on the books for nearly two decades. KCTV5's Greg Payne was at the meeting and tells us what the change means for people living in independence. Again, this thing has been in place for two decades. Two decades ago, it was 2003. Dog attacks have tripled or quadrupled since then. You have no ground upon which to remove a pit bull ban and in each area of this country bully breeds lead the pack in not only dog bites but severity of attacks surpassing sometimes in many areas all other breeds by far where other breeds don't even manage to inflict the amount of damage bully breeds inflict because that's breed specific aggression and mechanics these muscle built mutants are killing machines. As Susan Canetto walked into the Independent City Council meeting tonight, she was filled with nerves. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm anticipating a good outcome, and I believe it'll happen. Now, this is what I'm talking about. You get the false impression that these people are upstanding members of society. No, these are the worst types of people to have in your community. These are the people who limit your freedoms, the freedoms of your family. These are the people who might end up being responsible for getting you killed or disfigured. That's all this means. You have no room for argument and in time like now, dog attacks are worse than they've ever been in history. Get out of here. But I'm still, until it's done, it's not done. Susan has several dogs, none of which are pit bulls, but that didn't stop her from wearing red in support of repealing the city's current pit bull ban that was put in place back in 2006, partly because of several attacks involving pit bulls in the city. The breed ban isn't necessary. We have a dangerous dog law here already. It keeps people safe. Oh, really? Oh, really? You have a dangerous dog law in Independence, Missouri that keeps people safe? Say that again. The, city. the breed ban isn't necessary. We have a dangerous dog law here already. It keeps people safe. If safety's the issue, we've got it covered. This is what I'm talking about, people. When these people get up here in front of cameras and they want to try to talk like they know what they're talking about, as if what they're saying is well-researched. No, it's not. Let's look at the dangerous dog law in Independence, Missouri. What are you even talking about? It's no different from any other jurisdiction. Independence law states it's unlawful for any person to permit a dog owned by him or her or a dog upon any premises occupied by him or her or under his or her control to demonstrate the behavior of an aggressive dog. Okay, so you're supposed to have your dog under control. That does not keep people safe. You're always losing control of these mutants. People are still being attacked. So how are these laws keeping people safe? Look at this. A dog is considered aggressive if it, one, attacks another animal upon property other than that of the owner, displays behavior which constitute a threat of bodily harm. So the dog has to first act out the aggression. That does not keep people safe. That guarantees that people will get hurt. What are you talking about? Look at this. In Independence, Missouri, a dangerous dog, one, attacks a person resulting in an injury when such person is conducting him or herself peacefully and lawfully. So they have to first attack people. So how is a law like this designed to keep people safe? It's designed to get people attacked. What are you talking about? 
uh, these laws are specifically designed to make sure people get attacked. The next one attacks another animal. The next one has previously been classified as an aggressive dog. Well, of course, it has to first attack. A dog is not classified as dangerous if person injured was slash dog was look at this teasing tormenting abusing or assaulting the dog or was committing or attempting to commit a crime this is for children so when a dog attacks a child they use this to keep the dog from being euthanized that is why they imply that every time a dog attacks a child, the child must have been teasing it, tormenting it. They will even resort to saying that the child was doing something that the parent is not even aware of, unable to even detect. It's not classified as dangerous. If the dog was protecting or defending a human being within the household. Okay, an independence, a vicious dog, look at this, has caused serious bodily injury or death. So they first have the complete freedom to attack people. How does that law keep people safe? That doesn't even make sense, people. That makes no sense whatsoever. No law nowhere like that, like this, keeps people safe. What are you talking about? Just on its face alone that's not what these laws are designed to do i told y'all these people get up in front of cameras they lie they will flat out make things up right there on the spot i bet you she cannot explain what parts of the independence dangerous dog law keeps people safe she could not explain that a vicious dog look at this has been previously classified as a dangerous dog, which again, it has to first attack people. You basically give these things the green light to attack people. But since pit bull bans have been removed, that means these attacks are gonna be far more difficult to stop. So what are you even talking about? These laws are gonna be even more worthless now. Now that they're going to be even more bully breeds, they don't even make logical sense. A dog is not classified as vicious if injured person at the time of injury was abusing or assaulting the dog or that never happens. I have never seen or heard about that happening, but I'm telling y'all, they put these laws in there for the children. Children are permanently blamed for all dog attacks. And nothing ever happens. This story that just broke of the nine-year-old who was attacked. Nothing happened to the father. How is that even possible? Who was responsible for having that dog in the home? It was the father. That child, that nine-year-old, could have been killed. Then what would have happened? Nothing. In fact, the father would have created a GoFundMe and capitalized off his son's death. Require maintenance of each dog classification. If it's aggressive, it must be identified with a microchip. How is a microchip going to keep people safe? You'll just get attacked by a dog with a microchip. Spayed or neutered. We've gone over that. Several dogs one recently, several dogs that have been spayed or neutered will attack. Do your research. Spay and neuter, that does not guarantee that a dog will not attack. It usually only temporarily reduces their desire to attack, reduces their aggression. Dog must be confined in a fully enclosed, secure structure from which it cannot escape. Something that's almost impossible to build. You would have to invest several probably hundreds of thousands of dollars to construct a type of fence or enclosure that a dog cannot manipulate. Get out of here. It is unlawful 
for aggressive dog to be tethered or enclosed from a place it can escape, whatever. Dangerous dogs must be identified with a microchip, spayed and neutered within the first 10 days after the attack. Again, given a green light on an attack. This is all nonsense. This woman has no idea what she's talking about. She is up here babbling, trying to come across like some type of professional, some type of uh, well-learned, well-versed, like she's some type of investigator get out of here this is nothing but an everyday dog lover everyday pit nutter endangering society primarily the young people in independence missouri we have a dangerous dog law here already it keeps people safe if safety's the issue we've got it covered susan and her peers in red filled the council meeting waiting anxiously through agenda items and public this is so this is so disgusting these things, these bully breeds carry out the most gruesome attacks of all attacks, period. You don't even see humans attacking other humans and leaving them in the state that you're left in when you're attacked by one of these bully breeds. And again, dogs, these things are the only things that carry out these attacks on children 13 and under, including infants. And this takes place on a regular basis. Again, I just reported breaking news. A nine-year-old, that boy was attacked not even 24 hours ago. And again, that's only one. That's the tip of the iceberg. Comment, including some against repealing the ban. I think the statistics are pretty clear. The result of lifting the ban is predictable. It's gonna be at the expense of public safety. Exactly, exactly. This is so crazy. Isn't this crazy? It's so obvious who the rational thinking people are in society and they get completely ignored. Why? Because there's no money in removing pit bulls. This is disgusting. You lift the ban and more and more of these dogs will be here in independence. More will be bred, more will be sold. And we're going to have a bigger problem than we do right now. Now, I suspect this lady may have even been attacked. I don't know. Uh, but I was relieved to see some anti-pit bull people out there saying something. Even if they are uh, dog lovers, you better at least show some common sense to some extent. And it's crazy how the people who speak rationally, who want a safer community are ignored and they cater to the people who want to make communities more dangerous this is madness more and more of these dogs will be here in independence more will be bred more will be sold and we're going to have a bigger problem than we do right now until the time finally came where the city council would decide the fate of the ban after a brief discussion by the council, the city council does, should not overturn it and it needs to be done by a vote of the people. A five to two vote in favor of repealing why, the Why would you turn it over to the people when you know full well that the majority of people in this country are nutters? Uneducated nutters who've not looked at any statistics or nothing at all. And even if they did research the statistics if you still support bully breeds in the community after researching the statistics then you are not bright enough to be listened to at anyways see how that worked pitbull bang there are so many people that worked so hard to have this happen you can see them back there and and there was no big money lobby that did this this was grassroots people and independent yeah right No. These people get a push. You see them on this media outlet right here. The media supports them. The media does not cover people like me. You talking about grassroots. We're the grassroots. Get out of here. You far from grassroots. They don't even want to mention our talking points in the news. So now she's trying to stick her chest out. We'll see what type of uh, tune you singing 10 years from now. It's that are animal advocates and believe in what happened here tonight. Uh, what happened was 
they listen to the most ignorant and uneducated, unenlightened, dim-witted people in society, which is complete madness. These things were bred to fight, to kill. They have more natural muscle. They are quicker to snap. They have been proven to attack in response to nothing or anything at all. Once they attack, it's nearly impossible to stop them, especially for a woman like you. Favor of there is the no man. way under the sun that you personally could stop any pit bull from attacking anyone. The same goes for all the rest of these pit bull lovers. These things were bred to not respond to appeasement behavior. They will not stop attacking until they have killed the victim. There's nothing you can say, no happy story, no dodo video you can refer people to that will remove that fact. These are killing machines that prefer to attack and kill children. This is an immoral, immoral, sick, evil cult. You're not about to blind the masses to that. Again, big shout out to everybody able to join me. Uh, this is not a live stream, but I will go live shortly. And I hope you all are able to join me as we continue with this crusade.